realize you're still here. I'm busy right now. Okay, well, I'm going shopping, all right? Fine. It's been two months today. Mm. Sometimes it feels like this is the only part that's real. Mm. I hate the sneaking around, the games. I hate thinking of you with her. You don't think I do? Pardon me? My name's Norm. Norm Swallow. I'm a sales consultant. I know you don't see a lot of men working lingerie these days. I've been doing it 20 years. Second generation. My daddy was in lingerie. Except he was a traveling salesman. Footloose, fancy free. Now me, I just decided to settle down. So can I be of any service to you? I don't think so, thanks. The red is better. Excuse me? The red. With your color and your complexion, red is definitely you. You think so? 36C, right? Right. You know, you do this long enough, you develop a certain, how should I say, uh, eye for it. Why don't I go pick you out a few? OK. Let me ring these up for you, ma'am. I'll be right over there at the cash register. OK, that'll be fine. Thank you. Let me know when you're ready. All right. Can I help you? Norm was helping me. Norm? Norm? He's a salesman here. He said he was going to ring these up. This is lingerie. We don't have any men working in this department. But he just said that. Never have. Did you want these? Uh, I'll take one, thank you.
your shopping done? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm expecting a letter from Florida. Supposed to be here yesterday. What? Uh, a letter from Florida? Yeah. Is it there or what? Uh, no, I didn't see it. Oh. I'll look myself. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're acting strange. Somebody let the air out of your head? Oh, from Florida? Is that it? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Why should anything be wrong? Uh, you do remember we're going out tonight? Yeah, of course, I remember. I want you to look good. Mr. Mayfield in? Could you speak up, please? I can't hear you. Is Mr. Mayfield in? I need to speak to him. He's in a meeting. Would you care to leave a message? It's really very important. Is there just some way that you could maybe... I'm sorry. Mr. Mayfield left instructions. He was not to be disturbed. If you'd like to leave your name and number, I'll have him get back to you. Okay, this is uh, Mrs. Sullivan. Could you tell him that I need to speak to him today? I need to see him. There they are. Finally. I thought he was bringing his wife. Herb. <laughs> Lucinda. It's been a long time. Hello, Herb. Suzanne, say hello to Lucinda. Hi. It's nice to meet you, Suzanne. Like your dress, Suzanne. Thank you. What'll it be, Herb? Scotch. Suzanne? Titi, please. Hmm. Waiter? So I told him, you want to do business with me, you play ball. And he says, what does that mean? What does that mean? I told him, you want to save your kneecaps, you sign the contract. <laughs> All he ever talks about is business, business, business. It's so boring. The only thing more boring is getting in a sack after he's tied one on. <laughs> You girls telling each other secrets? Excuse me. I have to go to the ladies' room. I'll be right back. Do you want some company? No, thank you. I can manage. thousand dollars there was this man today in the lingerie department when I was shopping he came up to me he was pretending to be a salesman you know but then he just suddenly now, what are you saying what are you maybe he's the one but then maybe he's not but if he is then... then then what you don't know who he is you don't know where he lives you don't even know what kind of car he drives but then we can go to the police you don't want Jean to know right no but he doesn't have to maybe honey if we talk to the cops he's gonna know What are we gonna do? Uh, maybe they'll take less. We're not exactly in a position to bargain, are we? Twenty thousand dollars, that's a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. 
But maybe I can come up with 10,000. I can come up with the other half. Double scotch. Sorry, I was so long. <laughs> Going somewhere? Uh, yeah, it's my bridge night with the girls. I thought Tuesday was your bridge night. No, Tuesday is a uh, duplicate bridge. There's a difference? Like night and day. Jean, I gotta be going. You're gonna make me late. Jean, please. Be a little late. Maybe you changed your mind. No, I couldn't get away. Gene, I wanted to talk. That's a first. Park the car. We gotta get going. This came to my office today. Lovebirds, drive to the corner of 3rd and Alameda. There's a phone booth. This is my half. Why the gun? I thought it might come in handy. Scott, don't do anything stupid, okay? Lock 
the door. He's here somewhere, isn't he? Right now, watching us, isn't he? No. But if something does happen... Scott! Listen to me! If something happens, just get out of here, all right? Please be careful. I love you. They'll release in the negatives back. Yeah. Everything's gonna be just fine. You'll see. You'll see.
<laughs> stupid driving like that. Yeah? They could have stopped you. <laughs> but they didn't. Mm, we did it! We always do. <laughs> We're the best, huh? Mm. Time to get up. What's the rush? Stick around, we're pressing our luck. I never did believe in luck. <sighs> answer it. Come on, get up, answer it. office. Is he in? Who's calling, please? This is Mrs. Sullivan. One moment, please. Got your girlfriend on the line. Want to say hi? No? Mrs. Sullivan, I'm sorry. He's just stepped out of the office for a meeting. Would you like to leave a message? Uh, no. Just tell him I called, okay? already? What? Do I detect a note of jealousy? Why? Should I be? the door? I don't know why. Going somewhere? Excuse me? Bet you Miss Sullivan's gonna be real disappointed when she finds out. Get in the car. Well, she won't be the first lady you've disappointed, will she, Scotty? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Now that's what comes from not listening to people, Scotty. 
Next time you're gonna listen to me, ain't you, boy? Who the hell are you? I'm your new partner. You know, that Miss Sullivan ain't a bad looking lady. Of course, if I had me a woman like Charlene here, I'd never look at another woman. I don't care how rich she was. Of course, I'm just a sentimental old fool. Speaking of sentimental old fools, that reminds me of Ms. Moffat. Nice looking woman lived down in Houston. You do remember Ms. Moffat, don't you, Scotty? She sure remembers you. Got real upset when you left Fort Worth. Thought you might have been done in by some blackmailers. Only she couldn't call the police, cause she is afraid that her husband might find out about you and her. So what'd she do? She called old Norm. Now, given what I know about you guys, I could do my civic duty and turn you in. But it ain't that simple. You see, I've been thinking about getting into a new line of work. The investigation business just ain't rewarding enough these days. Look, there's $20,000 here. Why don't you just take it and go? Chicken feet. Miss Sullivan's gonna have to do a whole lot better next time. Seeing as how there's three of us now. Forget it! That's all she's good for. Now, her husband might be a rich man, but that's all she can get her hands on. I'm telling you, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. Or you just don't want it to happen. Seems to me you got three choices, Scotty. You can call Miss Sullivan right now. We can go back to Fort Worth and pay the police a visit. Or, on the other hand, or I could just blow both your brains out right now and save us all a trip. What's it gonna be, Scotty? That's my boy. Charlene, I don't mean you go into the next room and give Scotty a little privacy. Make it sound like you mean it, boy. Of course, I don't have to tell you that. He's good at that, ain't he, Charlene? Well, he really does have a way with the women, doesn't he? A guy like me, I've always had to work for it, you know? Scotty, I guess he just gets about as much as he... Sorry, I didn't mean to suggest anything. I can see that you two have a very special relationship. You must have if it doesn't bother you. So what'd she say? I see her tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. Atta boy, Scotty. Well, you're gonna need a couple of weeks' rent. You have to rent the car again. That ought to do it, and then some. Now, where's the negatives? Why? I want to take them back to Mrs. Sullivan. So you guys will have something to celebrate. You gotta admit, ain't a bad way to make a living. Oh, and one more thing. Don't you try to run on me. I found you once, I'll find you again. Next time I won't be so understanding.
So what the hell are we gonna do? We'll think of something. Yeah? Like what? I don't know, all right? Special occasion. I thought we ought to celebrate. And what did you have in mind? <laughs> no, not yet. I got you something. What? Close your eyes. What is it? No, close your eyes. Come on. All right. No peeking. All right. Okay, you can open them. Wow. believe it. <laughs> How much did this cost? A lot. Like it? Uh, yeah, of course I do. Are you kidding? I've always wanted one of these. Oh, you're just saying that. Right, I'm just saying. <laughs> mm. You really like it, though, because if you don't... No, 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 no. no. Are you kidding me? It's the nicest present I've ever got. Ever. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is really good. Here, take a look. What's the matter? You guys do this all the time, don't you? It's just a business. That's right. It's just business. I don't know. I gotta tell you. I may be just an old-fashioned guy. But this does not look like just business to me. Something wrong? Nope. We got enough. Let's go. I'm staying the uh, showers on the blink. Thought I'd drop by and borrow the facilities. If you don't mind. So, Scotty. You have a good time? What do you mean? Hey, nice watch. Lucinda, she gave it to me. She gave it to you? That's what I said. Is there something wrong with that? Yeah, I think there's something wrong with that. Seems to me she might just be feeling a little jealous, Scotty. Maybe even a little ignored. Is that right? I don't get it. Does somebody want to tell me what's going on here? Wait a minute, Scotty. She can't help the way she feels. Now, you may not like it, but you do have to live with it. And Charlene, you put yourself in Scotty's place. He's just doing his job. He says it's just a business. That's all it is. It's just a business, right? That's right. Good. Then let's put this all behind us and get to work. You guys do your part. I'll do mine. Oh, and uh, thanks for the shower.
$50,000. I thought it was over. So did I. Well, what are we going to do? We could always tell them. Think about it. It would be so simple. You go to Jean, you tell him you want a divorce, I tell Angela. Scott, I can't. I can't do that. What is it, Jean? I mean, what, what could he possibly do? Well, I think he'd kill you first and then me. We have to pay. What do we do if they want more the next time? What do we do then? I only care about now. I don't want to lose you, do you understand? I met this guy, a mortgage broker. He gives loans on the equity in your house, and I can come up with 45, maybe 40 grand. No, no, if we do this, we do it together. Where are you going to come up with $25,000? That's my problem. What took you so long? That's what I've been asking myself. Norm, old buddy, I said to myself, just what's been taking you so long? What do you want? Well, I know exactly what I want. The question is, do you know what you want? You really think you're something, don't you? Charlene, you strike me as the kind of woman knows exactly what she wants. If only I get the feeling you ain't getting it right now. You come by here for any reason in particular? Or you just one of those guys who's in love with the sound of his own voice? Well, I did come by here for a particular reason, as a matter of fact. Yeah? I brought you something. Go on, open it up. Let's you and me get something straight here. I don't like you. I don't want anything from you, and I don't want you. Oh, come on. Aren't you just a little curious about what's in there? Just a eensy weensy beanie, teeny weeny bit curious? I would be if I were you. Yeah, well, you're not me. This is true. And I thank the good Lord for the difference between us. Well, I guess I've outstayed my welcome. thing I don't get about you, though. And what might that be? What a fine lady like you is doing with a loser like Scotty. You need a man knows how to appreciate a woman. And Scotty, let's... Screw you. All in good time, my dear. All in good time. Just out taking a drive. You were with her, weren't you? No. I wasn't with her. How come? It's your job, isn't it? What's the matter with you? With me? <laughs> Nothing's the matter with me. I just love sitting around here all day long with nothing to do. Gives me a lot of time to think about things, you know? Look. This is all gonna be over soon. You really think so? Sure. Don't you? It's a 
Tell me. What's gonna happen when it's over? We're gonna get the cash. And then... And then what? And then we're gonna split it with Norm. That's that. And then we're out of here. You really think it's gonna be that simple? Why shouldn't it? You're living in a dream world, pal. You going somewhere? Hey, I asked you a question. Yeah, I'm going somewhere. Are you going to tell me where? Out. about the Hollister deal. There have been a couple snags at my end. Look, Gene, the bottom line is I can't go through with this. Hmm. Sorry to hear that, Frank. <laughs> I was counting on you. There's nothing I can do about this. Look, I'll make it up to you, I swear. Mag can't count on his friends. Who can he count on? Gene wouldn't approve. Gene isn't gonna know. You wouldn't want to tell me why you don't want him to know? We've all got our little secrets here. Life would be so boring without them, don't you think? All right, uh, I'll advance you the face value of these certificates, but that's all. The rest of it, you're going to have to get Gene's approval. Hello? I just wanted to tell you, I've got my share. How's it coming at your end? Well, you know, I've been thinking about something you said. What if this isn't enough? I mean... What if they do want more? What do we do then? Oh, we can't think about that now. Maybe you were right. Maybe I should tell Gene. Are you out of your mind? I thought that's what you wanted me to do. Not if it means getting you killed. I don't know what it means. I'll see you later. We could have a problem. What kind of problem? I got a feeling she might not come through. Thought you said her old man had her running scared. She is, I think. So what is it then? I don't know, all right? I got a feeling. What time are you supposed to meet her this afternoon, Scotty boy? Five o'clock. When it comes five o'clock and she don't show, that's when I start worrying. Not before.
sorry I'm late. I was afraid something happened to you. Something did happen. All right, well, tell me about it in the car, okay? We're late. They're waiting for the money. You don't have to. That's just it. What are you talking about? Sit down. No, what are you... Let's go. I told Gene about us. What? I just couldn't keep on this way, not knowing if it was ever going to end. Oh, God, when I went and talked to him, I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life. What did he say? He said I could keep you. He what? Yeah, I don't believe it. He said, I mean, how did he put it? He said he doesn't care what I do in my spare time, just so long as I don't do anything which might embarrass him publicly. How could you even suggest a thing like that to her? What were you thinking of? Uh, it seemed like the right thing to say at the time. Oh, it did, huh? Well, just what were you thinking with? Hey, I'm playing my role for her. She's got to believe me, right? I'm supposed to be all upset on account of um, I'm laying out all this bread, right? So I'm getting into it. And I say to myself, now, what would I do if I were in a situation like this? Oh, come on. You're not going for an Academy Award here. All you have to do is get her in the sack. Oh, you think it's so easy, you try it, all right? Whoa there, Scotty boy. No one's denying that you put on a great performance. Ain't that right, Charlie? Problem is, Norm, that performance that Scotty's been putting on with Lucinda, it's almost too convincing. What is that supposed to mean? Hmm? I think what she's trying to say is, a uh, man starts falling for a woman, he kind of loses his perspective on things. Oh, come on. Charlene, you don't really think that I would have don't anything to do... Don't you tell me what I think. You want to say something, you talk about yourself. Oh. So that's the way it is, huh? You tell me, Scotty. Is that the way it is? You can think whatever you want. Anyway, it doesn't matter anymore. What do you mean, it doesn't matter? What do you think I mean? She told her husband, that's the end of it. That woman's got a lot of money. And we're gonna get it. Ain't that right, Charlene? Sullivan. I'd like to apologize for the circumstances of our last meeting. My name's Lasker, Arnold Lasker. I'm a licensed private investigator. What do you want? Well, it's real simple, ma'am. The client that I'm currently working for has recently become a target of some blackmailers. I have reason to believe that you may have been victimized by these same people. I know it's hard to talk about these things, ma'am. I really think I can be of some help. Come in. Now, I've been asking myself this one question over and over. How in the hell do you blackmail a woman when you got nothing on her? And then it came to me. You do got something on her. What? Well, just think about it, Scotty. She's different than all these other women that you've been running these scams on. I mean, they all say the same things, like uh, how your love has given them a new lease on life, how you're the only wonderful thing in their otherwise forgettable existences. Of course, you know all that by heart, don't you? Back to Miss Sullivan. Now, what makes her so different? Well, it's simple. She really means it. Every damn word of it. She's falling for you, Scotty boy. Hook, line, and sinker. Yeah? So what does that prove? 
Well, it proves she didn't make the first payment because of her old man. Sure, she's scared at him. She's got a right to be. But that's not the real reason. What she's really scared of is losing you. She's gonna pay. A whole lot more. But this time it's gonna be different. Because this time she's gonna be paying to keep the man she loves alive. So we gotta do it in a public place. It's gotta be something verifiable. Why? Hey, we're talking a lot of bucks here, babe. Now, she might just believe your story. Then again, she might want to check it out. Make sure. Hire a private investigator. Which is why we got to do it someplace where people go. Someplace with witnesses. <laughs> You sure Gene's not coming back? Don't worry about Gene. Just tell me what happened. Okay. I was having lunch at the Japanese restaurant by my office. I'm eating. This guy, he grabs me from behind. <laughs> I've never seen him before in my life. The blackmailers? out of nowhere and uh, she stops them who is she i don't know she 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 leans over she asks me if i'm okay and then uh, she walks out $100,000. We outsmarted them. Now we're going to have to pay. There's got to be something we can do. There isn't. I know. We're not going to get away from them. They know everything about us. Don't they? How would I know? I don't know. Lucinda. These guys are going to kill me tomorrow. Unless... I guess there's no alternative. We have to pay. That's great. Told you it was going to work, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Norm, you're the best. Thanks. Just a wily old veteran. <laughs> Coming to bed. I go out and see you, darling. Won't be long.
You, um, you remember everything we talked about? Yeah. Well, change of plans. We're gonna take that money, walk outside, get in the car, and go. You and me. We're gonna get out of here. I came up with a better idea. What? There's this guy. His name's Albert. He works for my husband. He always liked me a lot, I could tell. Send the week. Let me finish, okay? So I called him up and asked him if he would help me out. You know, do a job for me instead of Gene. Thing is, Albert's rates are pretty steep. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. He's a hitman. What's he saying? He kills people for money. So I hired him. And he went back to that sushi bar you told me about. He got descriptions, even got a license plate. He found out who they were. Uh, who, who they were? The blackmailers, the guys that beat you up. They're dead, he killed them. Is this some kind of joke? No, he, he did it. Go on, take a look. Seems pretty awful, I know, but I just keep telling myself they got what they deserved. Oh, that's him. Quick, get in the closet. He doesn't like strangers. front on commencement, the rest on termination. You shouldn't have given him the money. Oh, you know what? He just told me something. He just found out there was a third one. A third one? Yeah, a blackmailer, a girl. The one who stopped your fight, your good Samaritan, she was in on it. My good Samaritan? Yeah, he just went over there now to finish the job. Uh, what do you mean, finish the job? What does that mean, exactly? What do you mean, kill her?
Sorry about that, Scotty boy. Thought I was dead, didn't you? Nope. Ain't nobody dead but him. Take a look at him, Scotty. Take a good look. Recognize him? You just went and killed Lucinda's husband. All she's got to do now is tell the cops that she wouldn't leave her alone, even when you knew she was married. She didn't know you was going to flip out. She's a grieving widow now. She'll have me eating out of her hands. Pretty slick, even if I say so myself. How much is she paying you? Enough. What about Charlene? She was sure a sweet young thing, wasn't she? I didn't know you cared. There's no need to kill him. Still hung up on him, aren't you? It's all the same to me. to kill me. Please, you gotta come now. Where are you, ma'am? 2436 Walnut. Please, he's got a gun. Ah! Please, he's got a gun. A really big gun. You better get going. Cops are gonna be here. We got a couple of minutes. So maybe I want more than a couple of minutes. matter with you just keep your hands on the wheel so when do we get the rest of the money tonight you really think she's gonna no no way she's gonna try to toot tam me but don't you worry your sweet little head about it pretty girl I know how to deal with two timing ladies I've had plenty of experience in that department you can tell us about him? No, I can't think of anything. I mean, I really didn't know him that well. Oh. I'm sorry, Mrs. Sullivan. How long is it going to take before you find him? Well, we've got a lot of men working on this thing. I mean, there's no way he's going to get out of town before we find him. You mean... He's still in town? No, Mrs. Sullivan. This is the last place he'd come. There's no way he'd come here. How do you know that? I mean, how can you know that for sure? Well, 
I'll tell you what. We'll put him out out front, 24-hour surveillance. Well, that's very considerate of you, Detective, but I don't think that'll be necessary. I'm sure I'll be okay. Believe me, Mrs. Sullivan, you'll sleep a lot better knowing our man's outside. Excuse me, officer. I was just about to brew up a pot of coffee. Can I get you a cup? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'd appreciate that. It's uh, getting a bit nippy out here. Yeah. Cream and sugar? Uh, yeah, a little cream and three sugars. Sweet tooth, hmm? Yeah. Okay. Officer, here's that coffee. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome.
well, right on time. Does that surprise you? Well, it ain't exactly like we got a signed contract or anything, so I figured, uh... What's to stop me from stiffing you? It's not the way I do business. Here it is. The other 50,000. All right. One dead husband. One made to order murder. It's not a bad price. Now, if I can be of any further assistance to you. I thought I made it perfectly clear to you. This is the last time you and I are gonna see one another. Ever. Figured it wouldn't hurt to ask. Polly, next time you won't be asking so politely, will you? What's that supposed to mean? Next time you might just send me a letter threatening to reveal certain information to the authorities unless I can... I wouldn't do that. But what if you did? Enough. Okay, fine. You want it? Take it. Go ahead. Scotty loved you. There are lots of other women, you know. There are lots of them. But you were the only one that he ever really fell in. What are you saying? Shut up! He wanted us to leave you alone. Stop squeezing you. I could have stopped it. But I wouldn't listen to him. Every time I looked into his eyes, I could... I could see how he was feeling about you. I wanted you to suffer. If you were so in love with him, how come you were willing to share him with other women? Don't you go turning this thing around on me. This was not my fault. You made this whole thing happen. You were the ones blackmailing me, remember? You telling me that you didn't love him? Is that what you're saying? Not that it makes any difference, but yeah, I loved him. Yeah, sure. You could have stopped it, you just said so. Look, I'm gonna miss him too. Probably not as much as you are, but... Go ahead, take the money. You might as well have it. After all, that's what this was all about, wasn't it? Go ahead, take it. Just take it and go. thing I had me some backup. Body armor. You didn't think old Norm was that stupid, did you? Let's get out of here. Come on.
how much longer till we get to the state lines? Another 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Don't you worry your little head. Old Norm's gonna take care of you. You're gonna take care of old Norm. What is it? Probably nothing. Norm. Get a grip on yourself. Norm! Don't look! It's probably just some local sheriff with nothing better to do. Yeah, and what if it's not? They must have found- Shut up! You let me handle this. Officer, what seems to be the problem? Step out of the car, please. Man, you got that line, my eyes. I said step out of the car, please. I've got plans. Give me the gun. Close the other door. I'm kind of tired. Why don't you go inside and get us a room and I'll, I'll bring in the stuff.